Hi there, this will be a short video on how to create your own brim to prevent a model from coming loose from the print bed. This can be handy in case your slicer software does not include a correct brim suitable for your part. When 3D printing taller objects that are relatively narrow, the printed object can possibly come loose from the bed, resulting in a failed print. The higher the object becomes, the larger the risk, due to the increasing mechanical advantage. I lost the nozzle for my watering can, so instead of buying a new one, I designed a replacement nozzle and printed it in PLA, or at least that was the intention. I made a couple of iterations on this design, and for two of them, the print came loose from the bed when the nozzle was nearly completed. This nozzle is very difficult to print in the upright position because it has a small diameter at the base with a very small contact area, since it's hollow. Also, the part is very tall compared to the width at the base. Since I did not want to redesign the entire thing for a different print orientation, I tried to enlarge the width of the brim, but also that failed. Another solution would be to print a brim on the inside of a part as well, but as far as I know, Prusa Slicer does not support this. As a solution, I added the brim manually in CAD. It's basically a flat section, which is almost touching the pipe on the inside. It is attached to the part with several small tabs. The material on the brim is 0.5 mm thick and the tabs are 1 mm wide. The sketch consists of a circle and two rectangles, which are included in a circular pattern around the contour with six instances. The vertical rectangle is used to extrude a cavity into the part to hide the point where the brim breaks away from the part. The horizontal rectangle will form the connection between the brim and the part. When you extrude the sketch, you can easily select multiple sections by clicking on them. The resulting surface area is much larger than before and now actually remains stuck to the bed until the end of the print. The part was printed at a higher speed so it doesn't look very nice, but since it's a functional part I prioritize print time over cosmetic appearance. The model can be downloaded from the link in the description below. Please consider subscribing or press the thumbs up or thumbs down button to let me know if you like this video. Thanks for watching.